Are you a regular consumer on TikTok? Do you go on there uh, just to post or are you also watching uh, content that they're sending to you? You know, that's an awesome question. Um, there's two reasons why I am not a big consumer on uh, the social media. One is um, I prefer to spend the time on other stuff. Mm. Um, so I use it essentially as a marketing tool. Sure. And the other one is that um, eventually my wife would find out. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, I think the algorithms sometimes feed, you know, uh, adult males stuff that their wives won't like. <laughs> right. There's a lot of that on TikTok for sure. <laughs> and I'm I'm not knocking. I think it's fine, but um, sure. I just don't want to spend the time on it right now. Right. Yeah. It's easy to get sucked into uh, social media, especially when they just send you clips back to back to back. You know, you go on there for a couple minutes, you look at the clock, it's been an hour sometimes. <laughs> I'm guilty of getting trapped there. Yeah, a, a friend gave me um, kind of a starter card, gift card, so I could join YouTube Premium. Okay. So uh, the inline commercials are still there, but all of the kind of YouTube added commercials are gone. Mm -hmm. And th that's been huge for me. Um, I've kind of mm -hmm. become addicted to watching YouTube videos, but only maybe 20% of them are actually specific to music creation and content. Some of it's just pure nostalgia. Some of it's like, uh, I'm kind of a space buff. So latest news about okay. SpaceX. Um, yeah. So cool. I, I, I'm a big fan of YouTube, especially like, um, now that I'm kind of teaching myself over the internet how to play bass, uh, there's just mm -hmm. so much stuff that's really interesting and some of it's really well targeted towards someone who is basically knows just enough to be dangerous, which is kind of yeah. where I'm at. 